Well, a peanut salesman is celebrating a special anniversary 30 years in the business. News Channel 12's Jacob Kittlestadt takes a look at why it was hard for this 77-year-old to break out of his shell. It takes a day and a half to make his supply using a roaster on the peanuts he bought in Ridgeland. How are you more peanuts today? <laughs> and Jesse Houston, who's had cerebral palsy since birth, has the process down. He bags. Honing his skills years back, selling that Jackson Mets games in the 80s. Jesse's been coming here for over 30 years. Everybody loves him. He sells all his peanuts. Most of the time he'll sell them all the first day and can't come back the second day because he ain't got nothing else to sell. From his tiny asking price, a buck a bag or three dollars for four, all the way to the vehicle he himself drives, a loud little three-wheeler, nothing about Jesse seems to fall within what's considered normal. And people notice there's not a speck of negativity in the man who, until age 14, had to scoot around on his knees to get around. He always says, I don't want no help. I can do it, I can do it by myself. But we always try to lend him a hand and like I said, we appreciate him coming. I love Jesse doesn't have to pay to be a part of these events. That's the agreement he worked out with the trademark. He says on days like these, he just tries to break even, holding no thoughts of retirement in his mind. I can't. You can't take it easy? That was News Channel 12's Jacob Kittlestat reporting. Jesse also regularly sells peanuts outside the Kroger in Brandon. The businessman says life is good because of his family, which includes his brother.